I don't I don't get involved in the contracts. I'm not I'm not part of the management group. I'm just the trainer. So I I know that um, him and and Orango talk. Uh, I was able to do a three way with them. Um, at the end, I guess they both understood enough of their languages so that they can they can talk alone. Um, I don't know. I don't know where they what they've got to or where they got to. I know that uh, Devin was supposed to fight Ryan, and that that turned out to be a fluke. Uh, as far as Matias' hands, um, I spoke to his uh, doctor yesterday, and they should give him. They should release him at the end of this month. He should be back in camp in in mid February. Mm, mm. So. People were talking to me. They're like, Mills, you did the interview. You guys talked about the hand. You explained thoroughly of what was really going on as far as where the injury is, has occurred, uh, the liquid that, that that is at. But um, people seen the the live with Subia playing pool probably like a week after. So then they go and say, Mills, they're going out playing pool. Nothing wrong with his hand. Can you speak a little bit upon that? Play pool. He can do basketball. He can do anything you want to do. You're not gonna. You're not punching. You know, it's it's you can. You can no play. contact. You can do it. It's a no. It's a no contact. It's not a, a an injury that that requires you know sur uh, a big surgery anything like that. It's just an injury that requires physical therapy. Um, yeah, he can play pool. He can do. He can play the bowling if he wants. Mm. You, know, you know, it's uh, it's it's through these things here uh it's um it's a, it's not a life or death injury it's called tendonitis you know and that's what a lot of people have a lot of athletes um but he's going through therapy and he should be done at the end of this month as what i'm hearing from his uh the physical therapist and he's he's gonna, he should be done at the end of this month um who's left man who's left i mean who's out there left i mean possibly like we got we got Tio fighting Jermaine Ortiz. Definitely want to get your thoughts on that. And it seems to me that uh, you know the the reason why I ask about the whole situation is that I knew I knew for a fact that when I talked to Regis, he told me he told me his mandatory was Sandor Martin. So coming into this now, it is Devin Haney's mandatory. But in the same time, I wanted to figure out as far as like. Was this Matias talk really real or was it just like, yo, it was just like, let's just say that we want to fight the boogeyman of the division. I mean, I, 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 I couldn't tell you that. I know that they all, they want, everybody wants to fight. Everybody wants to make money. But I mean, who really wants to fight a, a Subrail Matias high risk fighter, low, low reward fighter? You know, I mean, you can say everything you want to say, but I mean, you're not going to tell somebody to fight in months, you know, at an elite level. Elite fighters don't fight within two months. Uh, Teofimo did it. Look what happened with Combosos. Combosos hasn't done anything, absolutely nothing, after after he's fought. Um, he lost three times in a row, basically. <laughs> exactly. So why, I mean, I don't think that Subrail's starving uh, economically or, or you know, or, or food-wise for him to want to take a fight in two months. Everybody wants to make money, man. That's, that's the whole point of being in this sport. But, you know, it's it's a lot easier said than done. a lot of these guys are going to call his name they're going to do these things but i mean there's there's way to do it. first and foremost you don't make fights off uh, uh internet like i told you before this ain't wwe you don't call people out you know people know each other there's um me and bill are good friends but i guess he called the wrong the wrong person when he called you know it had nothing to do uh you know with peter khan has nothing to do with with matias's team and and things of that nature so you know, and then you don't, you know, you got to understand that uh, Orango is, is a businessman. He's a businessman. He doesn't live off boxing, you know, so you're not going to impress him with numbers. You're not going to impress him, uh, you know, yelling over the internet. He's, he, he, and Bill told me, you know, he hung up on me. Yeah, I see you keep yelling. He's going to hang up on you three or four times. Every time you yell, he's going to hang up. You know, that's 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 just the way it is. Um, But, I mean, Who's who's left? I, I personally, in my in my opinion, I think the guy that deserves a shot at Sobrell Matias because he was the guy that lifted his hand when nobody was lifting the um, before Sobrell uh, his win versus Ergachev, and as soon as he won beat Ergachev was uh, Arnold Barboza. You know, 
he did, it's a guy that I believe that's that's a strong fighter. He's he's proved himself. I believe he deserves a shot, you know. Um, but again, I said I'm just a trainer, man. I'm not his manager. I don't, I'm not part of the of the team as as who decides, you know. They just tell me and on this day and this is who he's fighting. But if if I had any say so, I would like to give Arnold Barboza a, a shot. How do you see that fight playing out, really? Good fight. I mean, Arnold, I'll tell you one thing. Barboza is not going to run from Sobreal Matias. He's going to come forward. He's going to fight. And, and whoever, you know, has... Wait a minute. Are you sure about that? Because that coming forward with um, Pedraza wasn't there. And that's an older man, you know, an older guy. He came forward with the with the with the opponent that he had in his last guy. Yeah, but he but, wasn't that durable. He wasn't that big of a guy. But but Pedraza doesn't have the power that Sobrell has. And in order for you to be able to take away power from a, a power puncher or a guy that comes forward, the only way to beat a guy that comes forward is to be able to push him back. You know what I'm saying? So so I think Barbo because trying to box Sobrell, it's not going to work. You, the pressure is just, it's too much. You know, his, his stamina is there. It, 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 it's easier for Barboza to probably get stopped by Subrail, um trying to outbox him than, than coming forward and banging with him and, you know, and, and end up right, if getting... He couldn't, if he couldn't bang and try to stop Pedraza, which he was winning almost every round, why would you think he would go and bang with Subir Matias? Well, He's not going to do that. I believe that he... That Barboza's a man of his word. He said he's going to come and he's going to fight. He's going to. Fight. They always say that. Exactly. That that's what I'm saying. You know. I mean, you you can you can. He's going to box. He's going to try to box. You know, on my Facebook, man, where I seen Tio, Tio at the airport the other day when I arrived from Japan. You know, and I was completely ignored. He, he didn't hear me. You know, I'm I'm about four people away from him, and you know. Things like that, but like again, uh, that's not my that's not my job. Tell me about it. Tell us about it. We don't know about it. The media don't know about it. Yeah, yeah, they, it's on it's on my Facebook. I was arriving from Japan. I, I was on I was on vacation in Japan and flew in from Japan to San Francisco. And me and Tio were in the in line together to catch our next our next uh, plane. I don't know where he was coming from. Um, what a coincidence! And, you know, I said Tio, and he he wouldn't turn around. You know. But I mean, it, it is what it is. A lot of everybody's gonna call a lot of people out, man. But at the end of the day, they want fights to happen. They're gonna happen. They're gonna happen. It's easy. Fights are easy to make happen. You know, when you got a a, a guy like uh, um, Pedro Cruz, who's who's Subriel's manager, that's gonna gonna take fights. You know, because he knows what you know what kind of fighter he has, and we know that at this point, every fight is dangerous, man. There's not an easy fight. There's no easy fight for. You know, a lot of people say, oh, so Brown, you know, Teal is a hard and Devin is a harder fight. You know, all these fights, they're hard. They're hard fights. There's no easy fights. There's no easy way out. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. I, I don't I don't know. I I heard myself. I heard a few Dominican names out there like uh, uh, Elvis Rodriguez and uh, this, uh, Michel. Michel uh, Rivera. You got Michel Rivera's dad on on internet fighting with Subreal and and taking bets on on the betting their person and then even says that he put my name out there that how come I answer to Bill Haney but I don't answer his calls as a you ain't it, bro I'm answering your call I never I don't I don't have his phone number he don't call me and even if he call me there's nothing I can do about it I can't I can't make a fight happen you know that's I'm just I'm just a trainer. So uh, I, I've seen some posts upon them, um, them, them two both speaking upon that. I know their teams personally as well. And on top of it, they've spoken to me about Subir, but I didn't know um, the possibilities of that that fight happening. Um, what do you think about those those two names? Obviously, Elvis. Last time I seen him was what when he beat Haldorno? Yeah, he beat. That was was his, I think that was his last. Yeah, he's been put on the shelf. I remember talking to his manager Maria, and he's been put on the shelf. I don't think he's either with PBC either because he was with a uh, top rank. He was released from top rank, then uh, then he was with PBC, and I think he's released from PBC. Um, I know his manager. His manager is actually Mexican from from Sinaloa. You know, so. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
really good guy. Well, I think she just she tries to help him out. I think that's what she told me, Maria. You know, uh, the the wife of uh, Freddie Roach. Yeah, 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 Marie. She she's she's a she's a good yeah, but but as far as his manager, it's a, it's a real good guy from from Sinaloa, Mexico, and it's a really really great guy, and good team. He knows my number personally. We're good friends. We talk all the time. Um, and Elvis is a good fighter, man. I mean, but I, again, you know, I don't think they're fights that make money, you know, and, and Subriel, he's 31 years old. He's, he, he wants to make money, man. He wants to make money and, and he believes in his heart. We believe that he can beat these guys, you know, that he can beat these guys. But I mean, if you're tr if they're trying to get me on here to down talk fighters and stuff, that's not my style. That's not what I do. You know, I'm here to train. I'm here to train on things, and there's a there's a lot of options out there. There's Gary Russell Jr. I mean Gary Russell, you know. Or did you did you see our interview? Uh, no, I, I haven't I haven't seen it, but I mean he he's another good fighter. He makes for a great fighter. There's a there's a there's a lot of guys out there. I think uh, uh, this kid who just fought, um Ryan Garcia, they fought at 140. Oscar Duarte, you know. There's 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 fighters out there that that are willing to take fights, you know. But of course we want the bigger and better fights but i mean we'll see we'll have to see what happens first and foremost we have to get him released from his his hand for him to start punching but yeah about the whole playing pool and i mean you can he ain't dead you know what i mean you can play pool you can you can bowl you can do a thing it's called you know it's just 10 nights and it's a, like an arthritis type thing that needed therapy and it's not gonna fix in two months you know what i'm saying it's not gonna fix in two months and and i believe that you know uh teal's team is strategic team but they kind of forget that we're strategic too you know you're not, we're not we're not dying of hunger and you're not going to get us to fight in two months man this is an elite level an elite fighter fights in two months he's going to say he did but what happened he lost you know we don't want when we fight we don't want to make no excuses if you beat us you were bad but you also don't want to make no mistakes exactly i'm not you know that you don't make me you if these fighters don't fight in two months bro you know that this boxing we're not stupid we're not you know we're not you're not this is not a new team uh you know these you know orango's made world champions before he's been in the business you know you don't fight in two months bro you don't give a, an elite fighter two month notice to want to fight in two months so what kind of what what kind of uh offer do you believe that is bogus a bogus offer you know because you know if you want hey we're going to fight in April. We'll fight in this, you know, and, and, and gives us time, you know. Where am I going to find sparring in two months? Where am I going to do a camp in two months? You know, they know where we train at. They know, you know, your body's tired, you know, whether whether Subrail won in five rounds, six rounds. You, he trained for 12 rounds, you know. 